Hello, welcome back to Unrest Digest. I don't know what that was, gang sign probably. Yeah, I uh, got another little video for you today in a new in a new room, new house, you know what it is. Not moved, but you know, things. Sewage dumping water companies face unlimited fines. Good. Good. I don't think anyone likes this. This is what I think like um, I heard the Tories got in a lot of issues for this. I don't know why they were in, on board with this because Right-wingers, left-wingers, centrists, libertarians, authoritarians. I don't... That wasn't me putting my hand up for... Yeah, that's me, authoritarian. Yeah, right here. No, like... Uh, I don't think anyone's on board with this. Like, honestly. Like, and if they were, like... It'd have to be one of these people who's like, well, business is business. Got to make money. You know what I mean? So it's cheaper for them. And I'd be suspicious of anyone like that because they're probably being paid. But anyway, so what do we have... Uh, this is the BBC. War companies could face uh, face unlimited fines for dumping sewage under government plans to, due to be unveiled in the coming days. Oh, so this is from the top. So after they started dumping, they must have got a lot of um, feedback, hit back, all stuff. Not enough kickbacks, as it turns out. War, uh, ministers want to lift the cap of £250,000 for penalties to four firms that release sewage into rivers and the sea. All these caps, they love their caps, don't they? Uh, releases of untreated waste are legal in some, some, yeah, this is the issue. But they also pose risks to human health and to ecosystems. Official figures show an average of 825 sewage spills per day into England's waterways in the last year. That's really bad. Like, latest figures from the Environment Agency, EA, showed a total of 301,081 sewage spills in 2022. This represented a 19% decrease from 2021, but the EA blah, 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 we want less. In the coming days, ministers are set to announce plans to make polluters pay, addressing all sources of... Oh, sorry. All sources of pollution. Environment Secretary Teresa Coffey, Coffey said she would be making sure that money from higher fines and penalties taken from the water profit companies company profits sorry not customers yeah i don't want you taking my money because somebody else poisoned my water like oh you know where I, where i walk you know well the water this oh my god this is a terrible video <laughs> you know what i mean anyway currently such money goes to the treasury but the plans will see money funneled into the department for environment food and rural affairs I mean, it sounds good, but it's, they always, it doesn't always work out that way. Instead, into a water restoration fund. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be good. Water companies discharge sewage into rivers through nearly 1.8 million hours. It's a weird way of working out. Um, hours of storm overflows in England in 2022. United Utilities, uh, 400,000 southwest, 290,000. Seven Trent, 240, and it goes down and down. Companies are allowed to discharge untreated sewage into rivers in exceptional circumstances, for example, during heavy rainfall. I'd rather they just dumped it in a big hole somewhere. I mean, I know that doesn't really work out, but surely there's somewhere better they could be putting this shit. Water UK, which represents the water industry. Really? <laughs> so there's their fourth year that spills figures that had come, spill figures had come down. And the firms will continue to building in the, on this positive news. But the government said the volume of spillages recorded in the latest data were unacceptable. Well, we need to, you know, have cold showers to sort out climate change so we get less rain. And that's probably what they're going to say, isn't it? Miss Coffey also wants the Environment Agency to be able to impose sanctions without going through the courts. Although it's expected that serious cases will still go through criminal proceedings. Respond to Friday's figures on sewage spills. Labour said the government had allowed waterways to be treated as open sewers. Yeah, I'm not. I think he's right there. Not right on a lot, Mr. Starmer. The UK needed a strong plan to tackle sewage. Leave a leader, Keir Costawa. I think he's disgusted with what's been going on. Uh, is it Sir? Is it Sir Keir? Sir. Give up. Labour's previously announced proposed to make monitoring all sewages, all sewage outlets mandatory. And impose automatic fines for sewage dumping if it gains power. The Liberal Democrats went as far as saying Miss Coffey should resign over the figures, while the Green Party said water companies should face greater accountability. Yes, I agree. Anyway, 
please stop shitting in the river and yeah thanks for watching this video please like share comment subscribe check out the rumble page thanks